All right, this creative force, I can't believe he's actually here, is behind quite a few blockbusters. Kingsman, the Secret Service, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, X-Men, First Class. And now he's back with an action thriller that follows best-selling spy novelist Ellie Conway, who finds herself mixed up in some real-life espionage. Here's a look at Argyle. I meant it when I said I was a fan, but the next fan that comes over, he's not just dropping by for a selfie if you catch my drift. He's one of them. Now, I realize this may be hard to believe, but by the time I've broken his wrist and his pistol falls into your lap, perhaps we will have built up little trust with one another. And you'll be able to accept two key realities. Reality one. You are in grave danger. Reality 2, when I say it's time, it would really be beneficial for you to hold on to me as tight as you can. I'm talking bear hug like you've never held anyone before. Tight. I meant it when I and joining us with an inside look is the director of Argyle, Matthew Vaughn. Matthew, thank you for joining us this morning. It's a real honor to have you in the studio. Thank you for having me. We'll start out nice and broad. Tell us about the movie. Well, it's a action, comedy, romance, thrill ride. Mm, it's it has got a everything. lot of elements, yeah. It has a lot of elements. It's a, it's a ray of sunshine in this dark world that we're all part of right now. Nice. But the movie is based on a real book, right? By, yes. by a real first-time author who has the same name as the author in your movie. You're stressing real as if real people don't <laughs> write books. So that, yes, it's real. It's no, a real I mean, book. But, but there's so much speculation because mm -hmm. nobody's ever met, nobody's ever seen the author, the mm -hmm. real life author, Correct. and the speculation on who she might be. Mm -hmm. Have you actually met her? I have met Ellie Conway. Okay, the real Ellie. The real Ellie Conway, and I've met the fake Ellie Conway, which is Bryce. <laughs> okay. So there is, um, I mean, the movie's sort of very meta, shall we say. Mm -hmm. Imagine if J.K. Rowling, after four books of Harry Potter and a wizard came and met her and said, wizards are real, and let me show you how it is in the real wizard world. Yeah. This is the same, but with spies. Very cool. You talked about balancing uh, all the different elements of this, mm -hmm. being a, a drama, a comedy, action, uh, and you mm -hmm. wanted to bring the audience into it. How so? How to bring the audience in is yeah. want to entertain them. That's yeah. the most important thing. I mean, I think it's my job is to make sure that when you go to the cinema, you come out and think that was worth every cent, I'm about to say penny, but yeah. every cent. I mean, let's talk about the cast. Super impressive. Mm -hmm. Bryce Dallas Howard. Henry Cavill, Cavill uh, Sam Rockwell, John Senna. I mean, that, that's just a view. Samuel Jackson. Joe wow. Lipa. I mean, just so many phenomenal mm -hmm. people. And the chemistry, it just all works. How did you luck out and, and manage to get all these wonderful people and have that awesome chemistry? Lucky. I'm lucky. <laughs> I've been doing this for 30 years now, yeah. so at least people know I, I'll look after them. But I say I'm just a conductor, and if you're a conductor, you just need great, you know, great instruments and great players, and that's what they are. Yeah. Phenomenal. Mm. Any moments between the cast uh, that were like behind the scenes you want to share? Was there any tension? Was there any uh, a lot of jealousy of the cat? So we had, a, <laughs> you know, there's a cat in the Talk in the film, and they knew. Yes. I think they all knew that the cat was going to steal their thunder right now, and, and the cat is. He is the four-legged star. Tell mm -hmm. us about the cat. Give us some anecdotes or. Um, well, the cat is actually my daughter's cat. Really? Oh. Yeah. Um, we had an acting cat on the first day of filming, which we fired, and <laughs> uh, and replaced it with my daughter's cat. So it was fun. And how did that work out? Um, it, it, well, pretty well, apart from I had to drive the cat to work every day, uh, <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Did the, did the cat get extra special treats if uh, did a good job that day? Have you ever met a cat that is not a diva? <laughs> yes. No, I have not. Yeah. yeah. So it, 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 it was born to be famous. That's there you awesome. Go. I think all cats are. Yeah. So, so in the movie, the author has written a whole series of mm -hmm. books uh, yes. based on, 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 on this. And so do, does that mean that possibly there will be more Argyle movies to follow? Hopefully. I mean, people need to buy tickets, and if they do, um, ironically, this was book four. We're going to do book one next. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So, very exciting. Yeah. Now, you wrote and directed the Kingsman movies as well. Clearly, you like the world of spies and espionage. Mm -hmm. What draws you to it? As a kid, I saw James Bond. Yeah, right? Yeah, so uh, I fell in love with that, and I loved Le Carre. I loved... I just love... I think we could all be a spy. We can't all be superheroes. So I think there's, you know, I could be one, you could be one, who knows? And I think it's more aspirational and a realistic ambition. Yes, we can't all be James Bond, but right, we can be spies in our own way, right? Why couldn't you be James Bond? <laughs> Not handsome enough. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Oh, go uh, on. Oh, come on. on. Come on, John. Hmm. Is there any genre of film, though, that you would ever like to tackle other than a spy type of movie? My next film is a musical. I hear you really? like musicals. I do. I, I love musicals. You sung once on Broadway. 
I, I was in Chicago. Yeah. And there's another one that's coming up, but I can't say anything about it yet. Really? So you can't say things, I can't say See? things. See, well, we gotta keep, keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, we're doing a big musical next. Very wow. an, an original. And what made you an original. to that? Yeah, how yeah. Um, in this movie there are two big musical sequences. Yes. And I just wanted to you know, I thought, can I do this? And I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to do a musical that's more reflective of mo you know, modern musicals. I think we all love the classics, but we've got to make some more classics. Yeah, you have your Ariana DeBose in your movie. She, yes, I hope she, she's going to be in the musical. Oh, she is? I hope, yes. Oh, yeah. wow, that would be phenomenal. Yeah. Huge fan of hers. She's amazing. She's amazing. So what else, what else lies ahead after the musical? Uh, we're doing a, a Kingsman 3, which is uh, wow. f finishing off the relationship of Harry and Eggsy. And then they're going to have a vacation. I hope, you know. Well deserved. But, yeah, yeah. Have you so. had a day off in a while? Doesn't sound no, like it. No, we've been traveling. <laughs> My throat's killing me right now. We've been traveling, oh. promoting. Promoting, this is, this is very enjoyable, but it is an odd, you mm. know, I'd rather, I like making the movies and let the actors do the talking. So yeah, this, yeah. this is rare for me. That is rare that the director comes out and promotes. That's, that's yeah. terrific. Yeah. Well, we, everyone, we enjoy it. Yeah, and yeah. we are all very excited to see your new film. Well, it looks phenomenal. Thank you. Thank all you very much. And thanks so much for coming in. You're we welcome. So appreciate it. Yeah, what a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And again, right. this film, Argyle, hits theaters this Friday. You do not want to miss it. Thanks again.